What's up, my friends? Action Figure Junkie back with you with another custom action figures made from Rotter Task Force parts and accessories. And no, no Hasbro thrown in for good measure this time. A group of custom badass female um, vipers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what these are. They're a troop, they're a squad, they're a they're a they're a cadre of of awesome looking uh cobra females. Uh this was a commission done by my uh best client, Nick. He found a really cool picture of the Baroness in uh red and black with a black chest armor with a big uh cobra sigil on it, and you know, uh just the basic uh baroness look. You know the baroness look only imagine it red and black instead of all black. And I thought that looked amazing. And I said, you know, I, I think I can definitely make something like that. And he's like, well, I want a couple of them to have a little squad here. So you don't often see Cobras without masks, but uh, these three are maskless. And I don't know, that, that I think that makes them even cooler, even more frightening. Because the, the Cobras without masks are always the ones to really worry about, except for, of course, uh, Firefly and Storm Shadow. But like, you know, Zartan doesn't really have a mask. Uh, 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 Major Blood doesn't really have a mask. Baroness doesn't have a mask. So I think they look really cool. So just this is uh, pretty much exclusively made from the MTF parts and accessories. A little dry brush painting to give it accentuation, character, detail, look. Uh, we went with three different color heads. Uh, I don't mean color, I mean like color, color hair and skin tone because I wanted them to all look really different. So I think they came out looking pretty good. Even made one of them left-handed. As you can see, her, her sidearm is on her left hand and she's holding her rifle in her left hand. Uh, I'm even I, even being a left-hander, that, that's, <laughs> I'm left-handed. It it's always seems weird to me to make figures left-handed. I don't know, call me crazy. Anywho, so these, uh, yeah, I think they came out looking pretty good. Um, what do you guys think of this, man, this video quality? This I just got a new, the new iPhone, uh, what is this, the 13 Extravaganza Plus something or other. I don't even really know. Um, I forget, but man, look at that video quality. These girls look tough. Loving it. So, uh, yeah, how's the quality look? I think it looks great. I'm excited to do more videos with. So I don't really have too much I can tell you about these figures. I could make you one if you are so inclined because clearly I have practice. Um, yeah, really kind of basic, simple. I mean, that, that screams Cobra, other than the, obviously the emblem on the chest, just the look, you know, red, black, badass I'm gonna let Nick give them names because I'm terrible at that the few customs I've made I've come up with a couple of cool names that I like and I feel like um, I don't know I'm not too good at coming up with names so that's that um, check them out see what you think black red badasses hit me up on all the socials if you're interested in getting a commission made let me know you can uh, message me at Action Figure Junkie on uh, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Action Figure Jun. I haven't gotten set up with t Twitch or TikTok. What do you guys think? Is that worth doing? I do mostly customs like this and videos and then action figure photography, which hopefully you've checked out on, on uh, my Instagram. Are those, are those uh, social medias worth getting into for if that's what your jam is? I always thought TikTok was kind of for like for pedophiles, yo. Hey, if I'm not, I'm wrong. That's fine. Get with the times. Anywho, please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me they're awesome. Tell me they suck. I like it either way. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. And in parting, you know how we do it. I gotta turn it down for this one. <gasps> oh yeah. Get it. Oh, bro!